Hello, I'm Robert Chivas from VarioScale, and today we're going to present the Vario Mill, which is a five axis CNC tool for advanced package prep and circuit edit and failure analysis. The problem we're addressing today is the CT mismatch in silicon chips and package cause them to bend. And traditional methods of polishing and grinding do not allow for high uniformity and thickness. What we do is we model the circuit layer, which is the superposition of both the measurements, air gap and thickness. And then we have the calculated tool path embedded in the die. The die is rotated underneath the spindle such that the contact angle is, matches the normal at all points on the die. So there are no angular mismatch errors from grinding. <clears throat> the tool itself is a standalone tool. That's why we're doing a virtual presentation today. Uh, it's, <clears throat> it des it's designed for the package prep, circuit edit failure analysis. The advantage is that it has in situ integrated measurement system, which is very important for these chips because not only are they bent, they also change shape as they are thinned. As you can see, a die here at 180 microns of curvature is thinned down to 22 microns with basically a range of two. And because of this thinning, it has reduced, it, it's relaxed 55 microns from its original curvature. At the end, we have a final polish step that gets us to optical quality, which is less than three nanometers RMS. So these change shape as they are thinned, which is important to keep, <coughs> is why we have to have the adaptive measurement routine. <coughs> so you can see it's a bilateral, bilateral symmetry. On the left, we have the optic system. On the right, we have the mechanical system. And we interchange between both halves seamlessly. We got the imaging system, which has infrared and vis in it on the same beam line as the spectrometer measurement for the in-situ measurement adaptive capability. On the right-hand side, we have the spindle, which has the cascade, dry air, and slurry for doing the grinding routine. Because it's adaptive, we can measure grind alternating back and forth. We need to be able to handle spurious data points and data sets. So we have a filtering algorithm that's unique to our, our software, where we can handle a scattering center like this, which is from a water droplet or a particle, we filter out the two points that cause this spike, and you can see the true sh surface shape as it, as it is. And you can <coughs> calculate and program that CNC path. Here we can see the CNC grinding. It's starting with a slow pass on the outer edge to, <coughs> to limit the chipping. But then when we want to process the bulk of the chip, we increase the speed up to five millimeters per second. We've gone as high as eight. It does a spiral in routine at this point from outside edge to center. What we'd like to point out is that you can see the goniometers are actively tipping and tilting with the five axis routine. So the embedded tool path is being followed on, on all five axes, rotating that way. <clears throat> and then it will do this uh, layer down from full thickness down to your target. <clears throat> Next, once you have the grind surface, the new ground surface, you want to measure it. And this is the adaptive part where we can go from grinding to measuring, alternating back and forth. We have a blow off routine here to dry the chip so it can be measured. <clears throat> and then it's going to transfer from under the spindle to under the objective. And in this case, we will model the new surface when it's there, and then program it to start grinding again without having to take the part out. No hands-on interaction. It's all automated. So once the uh, part is dry, it goes into measure mode straight away, and it'll do the measurement on the chip from there. The modeling can be automated, or you can have some user interaction and then you would reload it to grind again. <clears throat> so after grinding then, we're gonna to wanna to polish this chip and we have an automated tool exchanger that can do that. So you can see it right now, it looks like it's sort of vibrating. What it is is actually spiraling. So it's got this surface randomization we achieve with the linear raster routine that's actually orbiting as it goes. And it's much the way you would hand wax a car to remove uh, streaking in lines and overlap lines. So we've got the uh, highly sensitive bit. We saw it just come up and down like that with very sensitive pressure control <clears throat> and has a non-fatal delamination mode. To enable grinding to polishing, we have an automated tool exchanger. And right now we've got the GoPro view from the tub where we just dropped off a grind bit and we're gonna demonstrate, we put it back into place. You can imagine then with five slots here, you can have grind bits with multiple grind uh, grits or you can have grind bits and polish bits at the same time. And here the electromagnet then is just going to pick and place the new bit as it's uh, desired. And then we'll have the collet come down and clamp on the bit. Now the very important thing for surface accuracy, shape accuracy, first cut accuracy is locating the bottom of the bit in relation to the chip. So to that end, we have an endpoint detection switch that's repeatable to one micron. 
and we use that to locate the bit and now we know where we can start grinding right away without losing any depth. <clears throat> so that's our, that's our CNC 5-axis tool called the Vario Mill. We hope to see you at the booth coming up. Thank you.